Leo ni Sherehe Sheria. My name is Mariam Bishar. Most bankable host Brian Aseli. Asantini sana for joining in right now. Remember, we are just about to jump in the news. Your request makes our playlist. You can continue uh, uh, just sharing your comments and also requesting using our social media feed that is at Nation FM KE. Follow me at Brian underscore Aseli. At Mariam Bishar. Of course, um, we have to get you caught up on what's happening um, in the news in the world around you. Of course, overnight, the monthly fuel review that EPRA does happened mm -hmm. and um, I, I think we're about to be even deeper. Like I said, you think you've hit rock bottom but turns out things could get a little bit worse. Um, a petrol will now cost 200 and shi 211 shillings, um, a 17 shilling increase at the pump. Diesel will now cost 200 shillings a litre, a 21 shilling increase mm -hmm. and kerosene will cost 202 shillings that is a 33 shilling increase per litre. Yes and EPRA has actually uh, made an announcement that if it uh, why well it's not for them reviewing the prices last night maybe just maybe the prices would have gone up by a little bit more right now it's uh, retailing at 200 uh, shillings it, it's hit the 200 shilling mark but guys in mandera will be facing a little bit of a higher price and the uh, the oil will actually uh, retail at uh, higher rates that is petrol will retail at 226 diesel and kerosene will retail at 215 and 217 respectively and of course it, why it's not for the review according to epra then uh, petrol would be retailing at 194 uh, th that would have been re uh, wait before the review was uh, these were the prices uh, the petrol was retailing at 194, diesel at 179, and kerosene at 169. But right now, uh, EPRA has just made an announcement that, why if not for the review, the prices would record a 202 shilling uh, mark that is on petrol uh, per liter, diesel 183, and kerosene at 175. Mm -hmm. So... So the chairman of at EPRA right attributed um, the cost due to production cuts by OPEC. Um, that's the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries mm -hmm. um, of at least 3.6%. Um, I think global fuel prices have been on the decline in the last few months. Mm -hmm. And OPEC, in a bid to make sure that the prices don't go down, has cut down production. Um, and 3.6% is a few million barrels. Mm -hmm. um, he also said that sanctions on Russia, on Russian ships following the, uh, the Russia-Ukraine war have mm -hmm. disrupted the supply and lots of other factors. Of course... Um, the subsidy that has been in place for petroleum um, uh, from for petroleum products was mm -hmm. also removed. So the fact that this all these coming together equals a 20 to 33 shilling increase in the price of either petrol or kerosene, respectively. Yeah. And this will, of course, um, affect the price of um, of electricity, of food products, everything in the uh, basically. Yeah, in the yes. Economy. So I feel like the Kenya Kwanzaa manifesto is now being challenged by everything around it could be the inflation around the world and of course right now just the situation in the country what it means for the ordinary monenchi is that those food prices we thought were going to go low mm -hmm. uh maybe not now yeah. electricity costs uh, you've been seeing kenyans buying tokens and i hear that kenyans uh according to how you buy your tokens might be uh there's a range uh, that we you might buy for the same amount, but we receive different. Yeah, uh, depending on what time of the month you're buying. Units, yes, yes. So and how much your consumption is on average. Yes, and of course, if transport goes up, then you definitely not know what it means for the parents who are now currently trying to take their children to school. And you know what, your salary is not increasing, meaning we'll always feel the pinch. So if you're out there and you're a Kenyan, let's brace ourselves for tough times ahead. But we are very resilient, so let's be hopeful as well that maybe mm. something good is going to come and salvage our economy because as it stands we're not at such a good place yeah maybe a little too resilient we've got some ava max with so am i coming your way then ben sol and Zinia manasi with cheesy of course we'll come back and look at a few more stories making headlines including how to build 600 million shillings of wealth from a 55k salary mm -hmm. it's not a miracle i promise you <laughs> do you ever 